Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little fondant baby shoes and I have a template prepared for you. You can find it down below in the description box along with all the equipment that you will need. First what you need to do is to get this template from my website and it's linked below in the description box and you want to cut out all of the um, shapes from the template. On the templates you can see uh, some numbers so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and this is the order in which you will be putting the pieces together but the first thing you want to do is to cut all of these pieces out of the fondant so moving the templates aside for a little I have some pink fondant here which I'm just gonna soften first So you will need two colors uh, of fondant, preferably for this tutorial. I will also um, use some white, but I'm going to start with the pink one. And the first thing you want to do is kind of soften the fondant a little bit and then add in some Tylo powder. I'm just adding about... Um, maybe one third, one fourth of a teaspoon and then I'm just gonna mix it in. The Tylo powder helps uh, the fondant to dry a little bit faster and it also makes it kind of more pliable so it takes that softness away and it makes it easier for you to model. So then once you've mixed in the Tylo powder you want to dust your working surface with a little bit of cornstarch and powder sugar mix and start rolling out the fondant and for this purpose it's the best to use a rolling pin with this kind of uh, rubber ends which help you to roll the fondant evenly and it also helps to roll it out to a specific uh, thickness so that it's not too thin. Now I'll need the parts that I want to cut out from the pink fondant and those will be well the bottoms of the shoes and also this part and this part so number one two three and five the rest I'm gonna cut out of the white fondant so to cut this out I'm using a really sharp knife and just cutting along my template Once you have all the pink parts cut out for the shoe, so, uh, well, for each shoe, so you need uh, the left and the right bottom and then two of these. So to start putting the shoe together, you will need uh, um, one or two, so the left or the right shoe, then you will need the uh, part three and five. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of water to glue the parts together. So I have some water and I'm just gonna brush the sides. Actually, <laughs> you just want to brush the front first because we are going to attach this front part first. And you also want to brush the bottom, so kind of this bit with some water and then we are just going to attach these two parts together so like this so 
so I kind of want to press it together like this so that it attaches to the bottom of the shoe and then you will notice it's um, falling because it's not dried yet so you want to support it with something and for that I'm gonna use some uh, paper kitchen towels so you need just a little so that it doesn't fall but then it doesn't kind of start shaping it so make sure all of the sides are well attached and I would suggest you do the same for both shoes right away before you go to the second part so to attaching the second bit So I just realized we do need the white parts already because we need this part uh, which is going to go on the front before we attach the next pink part. So here I'm going to roll out my white fondant, uh, so the one that I'm using for the parts 4, 6 and 7. You don't need any tile powder in here because you want it to be really soft and also I've removed uh, the rubber ends from my spatula because I want to roll this out really thin. So first I'm gonna cut out the six and you will need two of these. So one for each shoe. And then you also have the seven which is going to be the shoelaces and those you need three for each shoe. So my camera decided to <laughs> stop filming. So what I did, I cut out uh, the seven and then I divided it into two to make like the thinner uh, shoelaces. Then you also need the seven to cut this kind of a part for the back. So we will need another two. So one for each uh, shoe. I don't know what exactly this part is called, but it's like a decorative element which goes at the back of the shoe and then I also need to cut two of the number fours. So now these have had a little bit of time to dry and the next thing I'm gonna do is to attach this part. So it goes here at the front like this and I'm going to attach it with a little bit of water. So I'm gonna brush this white part with the water and then I'm gonna attach it here at the front. Also if you don't want the white bit to be that big you could cut uh, a piece out there and make it just a tiny bit smaller. Then you just need to make sure it's attached from all sides here. And if it's not perfectly attached here at the bottom, you don't have to worry about it because we will be attaching this part around the whole shoe so it's gonna cover the bottom part. And now that we have uh, the white bits attached, we can attach the rest of the shoe. So this part that will go around like this and form the shoe. What I would suggest to do first is kind of uh, model this bit around. So you want to half it and then put the, the uh, seam bit here at the end and then see how it models on. So I want to have little bits here on the side. So I want this part to be covered but you don't want it to be too long so in case you've cut it too uh, long um, even using the template you can still cut a little bit off and um, make it fit perfectly so now we are just going to brush all the, the bits that will kind of be attached together so the bottom first just being careful 
I don't take the paper with so just the bottom and then I'm also gonna brush the bottom of this part that I'm attaching and then you also want to brush these parts because they will be attached to the front then I also like to brush this part and the insides so that I can get that attached to the to this part as well so now that I've uh, kind of added my glue so the water just carefully going around and attaching all the sides And then you might need a little bit more of the kitchen towels to hold everything together. And then again, you would want to leave it to dry just a little bit before attaching the rest of the parts. What I actually forgot to do, and I'm gonna show it now on this shoe because I'll have to do it like this. I forgot to make the lace holes so this is something you want to do before you attach this part so you would want to make the lace holes at this point and you can use the back of your brush to make this small don't push it completely through just make sort of the spots where uh, the laces will go easier to make it like this because then uh, well you're not going to break the structure of the shoe now we're doing the same with the second shoe and attaching the sides then once they've had a little bit time to dry you want to make um, well I call it <laughs> the decorative part at here at the back so for that we need the sevens that you cut out and you are going to add it like this but what you want to do is to fold this one a little bit so you have this kind of shape in there so first you want to brush this part with a little bit of water to attach this bit then attach it and then brush the rest also with some water and then you just want to attach it so that this part is kind of hanging from there from the top like this and then just want to carefully attach this on And then we need the number six which is going to go around the whole shoe like this and you want to start it from the front so first I'm just gonna see where's the middle like this just carefully marking it and then you just want to brush this with water want to find the middle again and then start attaching it around the whole shoe so I want to carefully glue it on with the water and then same on the other side because you want to attach the sides first and don't attach the end because um, you might need to cut a little bit from the end as the fondant is it gets softer when you're attaching it so I'm just cutting a bit 
off and then it's perfect. What you could also do is to attach this part on top, then you won't have this seam over there, but I like to have it um, under this part, so I prefer it this way. And then when you have that attached, so the bottom attached, you want to add the shoelaces. So while I was attaching the first lace, I noticed that the laces are a bit too um, long for my shoe. So I'm just gonna remove a tiny bit there. So if you notice that as well, then just, um, you can still remake them. So just model it kind of on and see that it fits perfectly before you attach it. And then I'm just gonna pinch these a little bit. and brush the lace with some water and attach it. And then you just want to do the same with the rest of the laces. So what I would suggest is when you work with fondant and you have templates, always kind of model the parts on before um, gluing them on because the fondant can stretch and it can, um, yeah, it will become longer. So you kind of want to um, try the parts on before you attach them. Like in my case with the shoelaces now. And that's it, your little fondant baby shoe is ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will have fun making these cute little fondant baby shoes. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget that thumbs up for support and subscribe for some more fun tutorials and delicious recipes. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.